Imagine you launch your app today. And six months later, your APIs are a tangled mess, breaking old clients every time you improve something new. But guess what? Pro developers never face this. They version their APIs the right way. Today, I'm going to show you how to version your REST APIs like a pro using Spring Boot. Stick around till the end because I'll show you not just one, but four powerful strategies you can master. There are four main strategies for versioning REST APIs. URI versioning, request parameter versioning, header versioning, and content negotiation. Let's dive into each with real Spring Boot examples. URI versioning is the most popular and simplest method. You put the version number right in the URL. Here's how you do it in Spring Boot. For each version URI, there is a different implementation, which means that you can add new changes with each newer version URI. This approach is simple and super easy to understand. But it can clutter your URI if you have too many versions. In request parameter versioning, instead of modifying the URI, you use a query parameter as shown here. Here's how it is implemented. Based on the value of request parameter, corresponding method is called. Now let's move on to the third strategy, header-based versioning. Instead of putting the version in the URL or as a query parameter, we can send it quietly inside the HTTP headers. This keeps the URL clean and professional. For example, when a client calls our API, they just need to add a header like this. Spring Boot can easily detect this and route the request to the correct version. Let me show you how simple the code is. Here, we are telling Spring if the incoming request has XAPI version header with its value set to 1 in the headers, call getUsers1 method. Similarly, if the header value is 2, call getUsers2 method. And that's it. Now, your users can request different versions without messing up your URLs. This method is clean, especially when you want to hide versioning details from public-facing APIs. Finally, the most flexible method, content negotiation, also called media type versioning. Instead of sending a custom header like before, we use the standard accept HTTP header. The accept header in HTTP is meant to tell the server what media type the client expects. But it can also be used to tell the server what version of the response we want. Don't worry if it sounds complicated, the code makes it super easy. Here's what a request would look like. We are adding the accept header with hyphen each flag and its value corresponds to the version we want in response. This is the controller implementation where we are using the accept header value to return response as per the requested version. Here, we are telling Spring Boot if the client asks for application slash v1 plus JSON, call getUsers1 method. If they ask for application slash v2 plus JSON, call getUsers2 method. This method is very clean and follows the REST standard of content negotiation. It's also perfect if you want different versions of your API without cluttering URLs or sending extra custom headers. Versioning isn't optional anymore. It's how you future-proof your APIs. Start with a simple strategy, but always think ahead about evolution. So, which strategy should you pick? If you are just starting out, URI versioning is a safe bet. For production-grade APIs, header or content negotiation are preferred, especially when your API is a long-term product. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on more Spring Boot tips.